Well, while I'm waiting for my camera battery to charge up, I'm going to do a little talk on my blowpipes, my walking stick blowpipes. These things here, I'm going to make grandkids when we've been out in the woods. Just hours, hours, just target practice. Uh, walking stick there, well, it looks like a walking stick when you're doing it. These are two of my favourites, both made out of tubing. One tubing is uh, thicker than the other. So I have different size uh, darts. I am going to make a quick demonstration on how to make a dark at bottom. You have, uh, you know, you're walking, you're walking part so you don't damage it, so easy comes off. Uh, what you're going to need to make sure uh, some darts is just this. Wire cutters necessary, and I'm making uh, unnecessary. What because uh, what I'm making these be uh, with some wire, some wire rods. So you need wire rods. You can do them with barbecue sticks. You can even make, you can make them with you can make them with nails. You make, make them with uh, cocktail sticks. A tube, a conical tube to form your flight. Post and paste, paste uh, stickers, super glue, yeah, and some uh, some cigarette filters. So, uh, quick demo. Hopefully, you're going to catch things on here. Super glue, put it on a piece of paper. Get size of uh, your dart that you want, just wrap that around there, secure that into, into you, uh, make sure that it's pretty, pretty straight. Just press that slightly, get a cocktail stick, get some of the glue and just secure it at the bottom. This will dry pretty quick this. Make sure that it's straight. Let it dry a bit. Get your post and paste. And uh, do it round so you get Good. Uh, a good like our, our uh, flight. So you wait for them to go off. You get a piece of cellar tape. This is the quickest way to do it. You can use glue, pine glue, you, you, you can use what you want really, as long as it sticks out. So, right, let that go off a bit. And you come to you come to this. So Get your arrow, put it through there, make sure that it's see, uh, tight, get your glue, tip it in here, straighten it up, that is uh, not very good, huh? straighten it up, you come to this. You come to one of these. Here's one that I made earlier. What you do that, put it in your, your blowpipe, 
cut that off obviously so it fits in just put you know press it down a bit when you've done that set the target up on your back garden and uh, see how it see you cut your dart down it just fits in nice I have uh, got a bag of sand up on my shed it's, it's a good bit away from here and on it I've got a uh, it's not zooming in very well, but I have a playing card on the on that bag of sand. So I'm going to give this its first showing. I'm only going to do it once. Yeah, you know, you don't know what your neighbours think on you when you start playing up like this. So there we go. On. <coughs> well, that wasn't a bad shot, really. Say. <coughs> I was doing it with one hand and a camera in other. And here we go anyway. And there we are. Your two minute arrow. I'm going to have to move arrows here. Uh, a good few of them. Uh, these are the ones that are made out of just normal barbecue sticks. This some with uh, uh, the flattened nail done to a point we uh, with thread round. Uh, experiment. Uh, see how you some with cotton wool so experiment and you find out which is the best arrow for you I mean you can make like little bullet arrows they all good make them out of cigarette papers just for a running up of a fine glow and let them go off tie them on I mean you could you could bring down small game with these uh, if you were a serious kind of Camper, but uh, I mean it's very illegal. It's illegal to hunt with blowpipes in this country. So you know, it's just for target practice only. I mean, uh, when you're in woods and that, you can, uh, you know, moving targets, cans on ropes. Uh, it's it's what you want to do when you're out there in woods. <laughs> 